Hey guys, Tara here. Welcome back to BMW Drive Open Challenge. And this time today we're back to the cars which actually should be going in this series. It's the uh, last of the formula cars, well at least for now anyway. I don't know if I can find any more of them. It's the uh, FR17 regular version with the guy in it. And this is the uh, whale Formula 1 team. It's not a Jaguar, it's a uh, whale. And uh, I'm going to call this car Rachel for this episode and... Uh, Hopefully some of you get that reference, probably not, but you never know. And this car should one-shot it, I think, on the amount of downforce this thing has, it's crazy. I mean, it's got to keep the front wing in that intact and... St oh dear, no, no, that's not good, that's not good, that's a wall, that's a wall! Oh, the front wing's gone. That is... interesting. The front wing, is it going to be providing lift now because it's upside down and facing the wrong way. Yeah, f forget what I said about this thing one-shotting this run. Oh, it's pulling a bit. Oh my god, it's airborne! Oh my god, I'm pausing that. Oh my god, this has gone airborne. Excuse me, how? How has this gone airborne? Is it going to land the right up as well? Yes, it is, but the engine broke anyway, so yeah, the run definitely would have continued, but oh my god. Airborne crash. Ask me that, I think that's the first ever airborne crash. What happened there? The wing did give lift then, for being where it was. This thing... I don't know how that happened. That still... That, that still... That should not have happened. One of the wheels has survived though. Oh yeah, the guy inside probably didn't enjoy that too much. But an F1 car generating lift for the wings. I know it's basically turned the wings the other way around and it would provide lift so um... Yeah, F1 cars can fly. Unintentionally, sure, but F1 cars can fly. <laughs> now, let's try that again, shall we? And oh no, spinning out again. This thing doesn't like the hill, but it's like the uh, the car that went last time didn't like it either. Oh, don't tell me I've got it stuck. I've beached it now. Oh wow. Yeah, and I can't free the cars either. So um, yeah, it's stuck. So attempt number three of the car that I just said literally would one shot it. And I wasn't going to say, I was thinking one shot it, or after the, f like, well, the first run, it's always the, the learning run, so I'm thinking, learn what I could do, then one shot it after that. So, um, yeah, so technically it would have been a two run, but oh, it's the wall get away from the wall, yeah, because that, that, if I touch that, that's probably going to be an instant puncture with how fast the tyres are going. I don't know, can I take this corner full throttle? No, that's a wiggle, that's a wiggle, that's a wiggle! Oh no, that has not gone well, that has not gone well at all, and the engine's broken. Apart from that, though, everything else survived, pretty much. So if the engine still worked, that could have definitely carried on. Yeah, that was that was really snappy on the rear, though, for some reason. And this thing taking off on the jumps, guess over it okay that time. It was a bit wiggly, though. We're trying to put the power down, and I imagine landing with such force from from those jumps. That's going to be doing quite a bit of damage to something that I can't see. So yeah, it wiggling wiggling around like it is is perfectly understandable. And I still want to know though, can I take this full throttle without wiggling? Yes, I I can take that full throttle! Oh no, I hit the wall though! I hit the wall, oh that is so close to being full throttle I think. Maybe a little lift. But now that now I have an awkward setup now to uh, try and get this car around. And, oh, that's the um... I don't even know what... The, oh, that's upside down. Get right back here? Oh no. But that corner though, it's so close to being flat out. I think it should be able to do it, you know. Flat out, if we, if we can get the right angle, but that is going to be the right angle. Probably going to have to have the uh, little lift to get away with it through there. And if you can keep... Oh no, half the front wings fell off. That might be a problem. This thing might now start taking off again. Or twisting in the air. I don't know. Maybe it's got half a wing, so hopefully that's still enough to keep it on the ground. I mean, it doesn't feel any different anyway. But now that's, that's going to take this going with half a front wing. That's a wiggle, that's a wiggle, that's a wiggle, that's a wall, that's upside down. And that's, a, that's many flips. That is it destroyed. So yeah. Definitely need all of that wing. Actually, let's just not try and take that flat out because it's not going to work quite clearly. I know that's a wiggle again on the landing. Didn't like that landing. And oh no, that's the... the why is that post uh, signpost solid but literally everything else isn't? Now then, that wheel's going to cause issues. I know that much. Let's see how far we can get though before we just career... Oh no, I've done the back wheel as well. Yeah, so that's how see how far we can get. And I can get about uh, five metres further before it becomes literally undrivable and that won't even go anywhere. This thing's just slowly imploding. All of my doing of course, yeah, but that one sign that isn't- oh, just a tree! Oh no, oh no! It's getting worse. This is a, 
this is a strange tradition, honestly. The cars get worse the more runs they have, so it's like they, they get more stupid. Because I'm flooring it every time through that up the jump there. I guess it's just the look of the jewelry for how it lands in that, and the uh, damage that we can't see that it takes. I don't know, actually got away okay that time. Minimal wiggling out of the tunnel and that, so I'm going to lift off. Let it feed it through, feed it through, get on the brake, on the brakes. It turned just, oh that was lucky. Just about managed to get this thing turned through there. I thought it could bottom down a little bit there. Oh the wing's gone, the wing's gone, the rear tyre's gone. And now oh, everything's gone. So I survived the corner. And then all hell break loose because I've not done this part yet. So yeah, I can, now I know. I can lift off there and I can just about get through there. But I don't know why the, the front wing fell off though. Get away from the tree, get away from the tree. Oh, that's going to be a spin though. But didn't hit anything. I'll go keep the power down so not get it beached. Good, got it over. But progress is being made. I know what I can do now. Starting to uh, get... Well, I say you understand the limits of this car. The uh, the things that it does, I should say. Because it's not exactly the limits. I mean, it's a Formula 1 car. It should be able to uh, corner 170 mile an hour perfectly fine. With half its front wing missing. But it what you shouldn't do, though, is just take off for no reason. Get on the brakes there. Keep the half through. And it still seems 70 mile an hour. It looks so slow. Oh, it's a half spin. I thought, oh, no. I've punctured the tyre. But... I think I've got away with it though, just about, somehow. Oh no, that's this wiggle, it's a wiggle, got the brakes, spun, just avoided the uh, the guardrail. So I got away with that. I just think it needs a good run, honestly, if it wants to progress through into the next round. And also, it's the slowest of the Formula cars as well, so. Oh no, that's a wiggle again, that's a curb, that's a curb. Uh, avoid the wall, just. Once again, this thing gets so lucky, that wheel's taking an absolute battering. Oh no, I got it stuck now. Oh, that was so lucky. That was that wheel, though. It's, um... It's... Oh, no. Uh, every time now, trying any correct... Oh, the wing's gone. That is... That might be a problem, you know. This thing might just uh, take off now. Let's try and get the game straight line. Avoid my wing. Oh, no, the other rear tire is gone. And that is going to be any steering. God, now... Well, I say steering. Any, um... Way of uh, keeping this car under control is probably going to be, uh... And now just whacked into the wheel as well. I it actually wasn't punctured yet. So, I don't know what what happened with that, but although, this thing's actually still going alright, you know. Oh no. Well, I would say, oh no, I thought I was going to go plash right into the wall, take off one, one of the other, one of the front wheels. But, oh, that didn't work. That was a, uh, is this thing, I guess it's like, a, kind of like bananaing itself now. And this, this thing is so bouncy. And how did I not take out one of the wheels? The wheel, gee, I've bashed in the nose. Now the wheels have no, like, impact structure. But if I hit something forwards, it's taking out a wheel like so. Oh, no. One of the wheels has come off. That is not good. But I could keep it above. Remember, wheel speed is the thing that counts. So can I actually get this thing to get going again? No, I can't. Oh, so close as well. So close to the finish line. I think I could do it next run. Well, say next run. The next time I get a clean run off the start like this. So, avoid the pole. Good, managed to avoid Robbie Kibitzer. Because that's the first pole that... Polish person that I could think of that came into my head. Now then, under the tunnel. Let's not get a wiggle on. And that was good. And the speed did seem to be a bit slow picking up there. But everything seems to be getting okay. Also, DRS is open. That's, that's probably an issue. I know, that's, I'm offline, I'm offline. But... How did I get away with that though? I'm gonna wiggle it through here as well. That's not that's a horrible line from me. But it survived. I also wiggle again, putting the power down. Is uh, not fun in this car, honestly. I thought it'd be a lot better than what it is. And now it's stuck in the guardrail. This car, it's it's got it's so got the downforce to make this easily. Oh, it's a tree, that's a tree! That is a tree, that is a tree, and I'm upside down. Yeah, the tyre's deflated. I think that's the least of the issues. I mean, we see it takes off with no front wing. What's it going to do with no rear wing? That'll be um, something which I don't really want to see, if I'm honest. Because it, it's probably still going to take off as well. And it probably needs that rear downforce to keep it somewhat controllable. Imagine no rear wing. That is, that is no way. You'd be doing donuts for days, honestly. In that case. Oh, that's a bit of a wiggle. That's a wall. Um, that's a tree. I'm going to pause it there again, and just to see this monumental crash. And, uh, well, we're in external cam, which I didn't want to be in external cam. Because now I missed all of that. But, yeah, the tree basically killed it like I thought it was gonna. Now let's try again. 
I mean, it's still going to be all right for time for now, I think. I haven't actually looked at the time yet, so I'll have a look after this run. That's a tree as well. The tree, the tree is magnetic or something. I mean, it's only got, yeah, it's up to 10 minutes now, so it's all right for now. Another five minutes, pretty much, yet. Yeah. Let's avoid the tree again. That's, that's a bad bounce, a bad bounce. Get it stopped, get it stopped. Right, I have to go around the other uh, sign and then get it on the road. And actually remember to zoom out there. And I think something is damaged on the rear because, yeah, it feels a bit off. Yeah, I think the front right is damaged, actually. Got a nice screen freeze there. Yeah, it's definitely wigglier than it has been before. But now get it under control. And hopefully, I'm just going to lift off as normal. I should get around there. Yeah, again, the brake, everything's a bit more uncontrolled. But there's enough downforce on this thing. Well, at least there was to keep it under control. Oh, the rear, the rear left is borderline surviving at this point. Gonna keep, gotta try and put the power down though. Oh, this is wiggling so much. But now, turning to the left might actually be okay. The speed is noticeably down as well. Oh my god, he took off. He's taken off again. He's taken off again. You get on the brakes, on the brake. I've got to save this one. Oh no. Actually, come on. Yes. Drive through that little tree. This thing, it needs a front wing. Get it back over though. Yes, this thing's still drivable. I mean, kind of. This is workable, you know. And you know, I have to try and keep it full throttle most of the time. Which is what I have to do. But, the way the wheels are damaged, they're kind of like counteracting each other. So, you know what, this might actually get away with it, you know. Over the bump, okay-ish. Well, could have been a lot worse than that, get away from the wall. Now, into where it got before, screen free is lovely. I get a little bit of power slide on. Well, I say power slide, more of a uh, wanting to turn the opposite way to where I want to go. Well, then a power slide, that's the slide. Now then, over the line, I've missed the line. So now then, I've got to go back and actually cross it, because that doesn't count. Now I can actually get it to a... Uh, I need to get it lined up so I can get it over 20 mile hour wheel speed, which it should easily do, and there we go. Now it's made it. This thing though, so many so many interesting issues actually. This was a, this was a fun car to drive. That rear suspension though, both the rear suspensions are absolutely shot. But at least I can get this car into the river though. But the brakes aren't even smoking, probably because they don't even work anymore. Honestly. Yeah, I'm just going to go uh, downstream, it seems, with this thing. And the brakes, yeah, they're not even... Are they even in the water? Is the water even high enough to affect the brakes? I don't even know. Anyway, if you um, enjoyed this FR17, the uh, the whale car, then uh, leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell. Same as that on any of my future videos. The water's flowing off the side of the road as well. Off the river. There's water flowing down the side here. That probably shouldn't be happening, but... Uh, it is so um, yeah now you can't see that behind the results it's just something I've noticed now but anyway leave a like if you enjoyed leave a comment down below subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell to turn any future videos remember to give me a follow on Facebook Twitter Instagram they'll be linked in the description down below so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time